Right. I think it's recording. I think it's recording. Hats on. Good. Hats on. Good. Okay. Very good. Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to uh, the Toggle Time 3 Snow With The Money slide deck recording. It is a late on a Sunday evening, uh, a couple of months before Christmas. Dan landed back in the country at 3 a.m. this morning, I think. 3 a.m. 3 a.m. I've been watching Elf, though, <laughs> and getting into the Christmas spirit as I was oh. unpackaging this uh, amazing attire that you've You're welcome. So kindly Hello. had delivered to my house. So I said, make sure to read the slides, and you watched Elf, which I think kind of the same. You know, take the tags off. I'm keeping so, it. It's going back. Good. Um, me and my uh, many children spent uh, this uh, morning, this afternoon, putting together some slides. Uh, and the idea is that anyone in the hospitality sector, whether they're a toggle customer or not a toggle customer, or they're just starting on their gifting journey, or they're several years into it, can sit down absorb this or go through the pdf without having to listen to us witter over the top of it uh your director's commentary is totally optional and hopefully take away uh, a number of actionable points you can speak with your team about and turn that into more money this festive period so we're going to try and fly through this if you've got any questions after it you can get in touch with me or dan or any of the toggle team and as i say dan's probably seeing this probably for the first time as you are <laughs> so he's going to chip in with some of his marketing wisdom along the way i'm sure are you ready? I'm ready. Snow okay. me the money. Snow me the money, Sam. Snow, Snow me the money. the money. So here's the headline entrance. It is the season. So 60% of all hospitality gift card purchases or all gift purchases happen between November and December. So based on all the numbers you may have seen us putting out there into the wild so far this year, that means we expect about another £27 million to go through Toggle in these final two months of the year. And it's our sixth festive period at Toggle. Uh, and we've learned uh, a lot of tricks uh, along the way. So this is us trying to sift through all the noise and all the stuff that we know and find a few gold nuggets in there. And we've actually got a chap now called Stuart, who's our head of insight. Golden hey, nugget you. guy. Just let's golden call him the nugget golden nugget guy. guy. Golden and nugget then, guy. Yep. He has his own chat called Stuart's Golden Nuggets that he'll love us for mentioning. And a lot of the, the facts and insight from here are, in fact, Stuart's Golden Nuggets. So what's on the menu? Uh, first of all, what's Toggle? We'll try and fly to that, because I imagine most people watching this either are a Toggle customer or are aware. But I know that as these things do in our sector, they'll be passed around between different marketing departments and different brands. And if you're not sure, I'll be giving you a real whistle-stop tour of what Toggle is. Part two is the gifts of Christmas past. So what can we learn from previous years? Uh, and point three is, it's Toggle time. So let's turn this learning into earning my oh. seven-year-old daughter was super proud of that this morning amazing amazing yeah, i love it um and also something that i want to wash across this entire presentation uh because i think the main course really is going like to part three where probably dan will take the, the steering wheel for the majority because I, i'm happy to doth the cat he is the marketing expert and i mean that's his area of being world class uh, across our business is the idea of how to turn hospitality technology into actual marketing magic and drive it into more revenue um but one thing that goes across all the different parts of this section is just don't panic uh, we're going to hopefully give you the gift of time so whilst we may already be in the final two months of the year um you still have time to make all of these changes pretty much that i'm going to mention i've tried to make sure that we don't touch on anything that's impossible with the time limits that we've got now in place but if you've got any questions email us at success at usetoggle.com or email sales if you're a new customer at sales at usetoggle.com or if you're on the pdf version use that link there you can open the toggle account today you can literally be live tomorrow that's no exaggeration uh, we're here to help you succeed so sit back if you've got a drink i've got an alcohol-free erdinger here with me uh, sit back have a drink relax and enjoy this so what is toggle do you want me to rattle through this, Dan? Yeah, I don't mind. I mean, it says it on the screen. We've got oh, yeah. over 450 uh, hospitality brands live on Toggle. We've been live since 2018. Last year, we did £21 million. This year, we're going to do £45 million. Um, uh, we, you know, we, we gift uh, and we allow and enable hospitality operators to gift through Toggle. Um, and we're integrated with tons and tons and tons of other platforms to make it absolutely seamless for the consumer. So they can use it on order and pay. We issue toggle vouchers through Feed It Back and HGEM. They can be redeemed through the tills, um, issued through the tills, every which way we fulfill. We do all sorts of crazy stuff. Uh, we just basically take care of gifting uh, for the hospitality sector. Beautiful. 
per, yeah, couldn't have said it better myself. And, and talking about the hospitality sector, we are 100% hospitality focused. That everything we do, everything we develop is specifically for hospitality operators. So everything we're launching should be relevant for you and your brand. And it means that everything we're doing should have your success in mind. Um, These hats are awful, by the way. Are you joking? I love my hat. You just can't, I can't find a comfortable spot. I think it's it. like a nun. I feel like a nun at the moment. <laughs> Maybe like a curled up on top. No, it's better down. It's fine. So, um, what can you gift? So, just in case you're not aware, or I think some of our existing togglers sometimes forget this, or new marketeers come in, or any of the other thousand things on your to do list get in the way. So, just as a reminder, you can give physical and digital cards, both online and in venue, and you can sell on demand print. That's A4 vouch printed off at the moment they're ordered from your website and then delivered from our warehouse. You can A do prepaid. A5. A5. What did I say? A A4. I'm living in last we've year. Made them aren't better. I? We've made them better this year. So we've improved them. Uh, so they're a sturdier paper in a nicer envelope and better to gift. Uh, so we've just made them tons, tons, and tons better. And all of the customers, about 200 customers on on demand print, uh, and now have these lovely A5 uh, gift cards. We've made the platform so much better in the last year. Wow. Imagine not being a toddler. That'd be crazy. Imagine. Um, you can sell prepaid experiences, events, and bundles. We'll touch on a few of these, but that's things like uh, a romantic weekend break for two, or an afternoon tea for mum, or ultimate hangover cure, or the Christmas cocktail collection, or insert anything that comes to mind for your anything. brand. It's amazing. You can tie a toggle into your chosen charity or community projects with Pay It Forward. And then preloaded cards is a big one. You'll see that littered across the different things we talked about today, but that's free of charge cards, let's say for unhappy customers to win them back in through those integrations, as Dan mentioned a second ago, or staff rewards at the festive time of year for having a great quarter four, or to uh, help make it easy for your influencers associated with your brand to get into the venue and promote you at this time of year, and, and so much more. There's that's probably the biggest area of growth through Toggle at the moment uh, because people are getting so innovative with how they're using those preloaded Toggle gift cards, both physical and digital. Um, and in case you really aren't aware of how it looks, I know some people say, yeah, but what is it? We're branded web shops, uh, specifically for your, for your brand. They can be linked out to from your site. They're mobile first in design. They're linked out from social, from emails, from they can be uh, located in venue through QR codes or links or anywhere you wish. The idea is, that this nice central focal, focal point for all of your customers to have somewhere to go to buy gift cards, experiences, pay it forward, you name it. It's your digital shop front. Um, and they're designed to convert. And this is one of the biggest reasons, aside from all of our wonderful marketing campaigns, our you know, official partnership with Chico himself, and all the things that you might know Toggle for, at the core of it, one of the main reasons some people switch to Toggle, even if they've got an existing gift card platform, is that the conversion rate is so high. So the, we've got optimized checkout journeys there, Apple and Google enabled for payment, Apple and Google enabled for saving these to your wallet alongside your cards, and they've got a mobile first ethos. So our conversion rate is around 10%. When it gets to Christmas Day, 50% of people are making a purchase on your web shop, which is mostly, well, me and Dan's of the world, men of a certain age bracket who may have forgotten to buy Christmas presents for certain people. Um, and 75% of our purchases are made on mobile. So we won't dwell on this too much, but there's a really good reason for why Toggle stands out and it does as well as it does. Um, and so why all the fuss before we go on to section two and actually focus on what we learned from last year? So why all the fuss around toggle time? Why did Dan walk into the office two, three years ago and say, it's toggle time, we're launching a video game, we're getting Z-list celebrities on, we're making a video and destroying an art studio. Why this time of year? I mean, Dan, do you want to talk about why this time of year is so important? Yeah, I, I, think, I think it's there. So £60 pounds being the average order uh, value, we're going to do about £27 million pounds uh, of revenue in the next 60 days. Um, so divide that 27 million pounds by 60. Um, think about your spend per head. Uh, think about how many people visit on average. It's about 3.3 in the UK when people book at a hospitality venue. Uh, how much are they going to spend on top of that gift card? Every gift card is just a gift to you of a future visit of a customer. Um, it's as simple as that. And people uh, are looking to buy something that's more interesting than socks. Um, they want to buy something and buy many things from hospitality brands to give to their friends and their relatives and to their family uh, and to their work colleagues. Uh, and it's just now's the time. Yeah. Get a, Grab a slice of it. 
Snow me the money. I'm going to really struggle with that. Snow me the money. Uh, and, me and the money. Back in 2024. It's a big, it's a big opportunity. It's huge. It's so true. And, and it's only getting bigger. Oh, that was seamless. That was that. There we go. We, I'm asking if we'd rehearsed. Um, so it's only getting bigger. So you may have seen this graph all over the place, but these are the five years of Toggle's existence overlaid on top of each other. Uh, 2018, almost not visible, right at the bottom there. Uh, although I'm sure at the time we were delighted with those numbers. And I remember in 2019 and 2020, uh, 2020 being my first year here, being just, they looked like mountain ranges, those graphs at the time when they had nothing to be compared to. But 2021, 2022, both just smashed each other's records. The appetite for gifting uh, in hospitality is just massive. It's, it's insane because... Yeah. We almost went with the strap line one year for toggle time for gift memory, not landfill, but it seemed a bit provocative. But the sentiment is still there, which is people want to be gifted these experiences with their family, with their friends, an opportunity to get out of the house and go and try something different. It's uh, it's huge right now, you know, the sustainable angles there. It's not socks, it's not boxes, it's not another, you know, novelty pair of nail scissors. Uh, it's something people really want to go and enjoy. So that's the forecasted line for the remainder of 2023. And if you saw last year when we played out in real time, uh, our team that forecast, shout out to Jules and his team, they're pretty accurate. I, I'd like some novelty nail scissors, actually. I've never had any of those. <laughs> I I'm feeling that. like I've missed out. I've just literally used some snowman shaped ones before this. <laughs> I don't even know why I put my nails before this. But. <laughs> You can have my second-hand pair. Great, great, thank you, thank you. Um, so section two, um, and we'll probably take it in turns to run through each of these slides. But yes, the, the gift of Christmas past. So what can we learn from previous years? I mean, toggle time to uh, seems like years ago now, but it was literally this time last year we were starting out with toggle time to, and what did we learn through that that period? Um, so first of all, I, I'll start with the first one. So Black Friday is a big deal, and it, it's not just one day. Um, so many brands started feeding out their Black Friday offers on the Monday before last year and were in them all week. Uh, and in fact, in 2013, so right now we're filming this at the end of October. Yep. Is that right? Yeah, um, yeah. We already have double figures brands live with their Black Friday offer they got shared last week. And there's just a couple more, trickle more going live every day. So to give you a comparison here, 20% of your quarter four gifting sales will happen in, happen in November regardless. So this sounds like a bit of a riddle, but I promise it's not. So in the final quarter of the year, 20% of your gifting will happen in November anyway. Because, spoiler, December is where all the magic happens, even if you're not trying. However, if you run a discount around Black Friday, you'll see 45% of your gifting sales happen in November. Which, even for those that aren't the most um, talented mathematicians, you're more than doubling your gifting sales in what is already the second busiest month of the year just by running a Black Friday campaign. That's on average. Yep. Now, we'll talk about little things about, well, is that cannibalizing your Christmas sales? Turns out it's not for quite a good reason. And where's the tipping point? Well, the graph on the right there shows that if you run a Black Friday promotion at different levels, where does the gifting percentage sit for quarter four? 20%. Yeah. 20% every day, 20%. You've been banging this drum for well, you've been banging this drum for since before I even knew what toggle meant. Um, but yeah, once you go past 20%, it hardly changes. So whether it's 20% discount or 20% added value, so uh, you know, 50 pound gift card, pay 50 pounds, you get 60 pounds worth of value on it. They do pretty much the same thing. Get 20% offers out there around Black Friday, just don't miss it. But we'll talk about actions after this. But this is look looking back. Um, and really interestingly, for brands offering multiple products their non-discounted gifts still see a 100% increase if they're running a Black Friday offer. So if you're running a Black Friday offer, the logic stands that you're driving more eyeballs to your website and even your non-discounted products, your experiences, your non-date defined uh, events, things that might not be discounted for whatever reason, they will see uh, twice as many sales around Black Friday just because you've driven more people to your website with the Black Friday offer. Yep. It's, a, it's a thing of magic. And, and, and that's the key to making sure that you've got lots of things on your shop to sell uh, because people will be self-gifting on Black Friday. They'll be buying things for themselves to make a snap decision on where they're going to go and eat out with their friends and family. And they buy for themselves rather than giving it away. Um, so if there's something alongside that that they think, oh, actually, I'll just get that experience for two, uh, then that's uh, that's what they'll do. These books are. <laughs> Mine's now too tight. 
Is now it? I'm actually attached around my neck. Wow, mine's built for like a rhino. Like I've had to tuck it anyway. Um, and an example of uh, Black Friday in action. So we're, we're really blessed to work with some of the best brands in the sector, and it's a lot of fun. And, and, and one of many examples we could have chosen was uh, Given Squid giggling all the way to the bank. They created their own day for Black Friday. They called it uh, Giggling Squid's Floral Friday last year. Yeah. Uh, and they were selling a £50 Floral Friday. I can't say that. Floral. It's nice though, isn't it? Because lots of people don't like Black Friday. I yeah. don't like Black Friday. I'm not a fan of it. I'm not a crazy, crazy, crazy consumer. Um, so, I, I, you know, it just doesn't appeal to me uh, to channel all of my buying energy into that one weekend. Uh, but you come up with something quite different and play off it. Uh, consumers love it, though, unfortunately. So, yeah, uh, a floral Friday. Much nicer than Black idea. Friday. I bought my radiator that I've got right here in Black Friday last year. Exactly. I'm, I'm the the lives we live, Sam. The lives we live. I will bankrupt myself any given Black Friday. Um, <laughs> so uh, they uh, saw almost 1,500 cards sold. Obviously, the average order value was £50. They took £74,000 worth of gifting spend in one day. And potentially 20% of those were never redeemed anyway. Yeah. And uh, you can read the full case study on the PDF version. Um, but it's just one of many examples of how you in this day, even if you're a brand as well considered and well thought of as being a treat and an occasion of giggling squid, it's there for the taking. Just have a think about how it fits into your brand. Yep. And email, I mean, you know, it's still the best comms channel uh, for. Um, well, for selling, basically, for contacting and communicating with customers, email is still number one after however many years. We've been doing it for 20 years. Um, uh, so email's number one. Um, we had a conversion rate across the uh, the week, uh, which was 11.2%, which is really good. Um, uh, and when customers ar arrived on a web shop via an email link, the conversion rate was consistently around 20%, so much, much higher. Um, so think about getting your emails out early. Think about doing te teaser campaigns with your customers. So get your emails out during the week uh, or, or beforehand and let your customers know that something's coming. Uh, if you want to be really um, kind, uh, then let your best customers know in advance and do a little squirrel of a promotion in advance and let them have an early access to it uh, and do something in advance and let your best customers buy it uh, and they don't have to wait till Black Friday. And then you go out to the whole of your database on all of your different social channels and everything else and push your Black Friday offer. Uh, but email is the key. Absolutely. Um, and for those that aren't uh, well versed in the benchmarks of e-commerce, which I wasn't until uh, recent years in my career, 5% um, conversion is deemed as excellent, we'll have to believe. And so at the bottom there, you see links through from social media, they convert at 4%, which seems pretty, pretty paltry, paltry, is that the right word, compared to our average, but that's still pretty great. You know, yeah. it's only just below what's considered excellent, and 11% on average and 20% from email, they're kind of phenomenal. And as Dan says, it's a nice stat to know, but don't be sat there on your hands when it comes time to send out an email on Black Friday day itself and not take advantage of these numbers. And on the right, there's a graph of when purchases are happening during the day of Black Friday. Yep. You know, use this, you know, bend the rules to, to your advantage and make sure your email is landing in people's inbox at the right time to take advantage of that uh, information there. It's interesting, isn't it, actually? So, uh, five to six people finish work and it's almost like they've been playing on their brain all day. Go and spend that money. 75% of people on their mobile phones, uh, yeah. oh, lots of commuting going on, lots of people uh, just sat on their phones doing their buying. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Also not a driven commute though. No, no, no. We would never endorse that. Never. Um, and this is a great example of how email works. Or, or not even on Black Friday, but every day can be Black Friday. Um, an example here with Ego doing something very similar that you could replicate for Black Friday, but they did it at the end of the summer holidays and they created their own summer bank holiday flash sale. Um, and very similar, again, um, £50 purchase, £10 added value, so 20% added value, so the inverse of a normal Black Friday 20% discount. And look at the stats. They sent out 260,000 emails. Their open rate was 55%. They had a 2% click through, 32% of people made a purchase. It resulted in over £70,000 worth of sales from a single email where each click was worth £17. Again, the power of email, you know, we're not just saying it because our sister company, uh, Airship alongside Toggle, is a very 
popular CRM and email marketing platform in the sector, which you're more than welcome to buy. Um, but because it works, you know, if they sent this out through any other platform, we still would have been shouting about it because the results are so strong. Get people to your toggle shop from the link in an email and you're going to see huge returns. And self-gifting again, honestly, okay. self-gifting. Lean in your own database. Uh, uh, you know, give, give them uh, give them something um, uh, to buy uh, and then you'll win their visit. Yep. Uh, something someone said actually last week on a phone call um was that they were nervous about doing a black friday campaign because they thought it was going to be so successful they would actually sell out of all their physical cars that they got ready for christmas okay and we just said actually just turn like them off you mentioned just turn off physical option for black friday because people are mostly buying for themselves yeah yep. i don't care if i bought myself a nice pretty card i want it saved to my wallet on walking to my local hickories or ego or who's at the end of my road uh, and you know and give myself a nice meal yep great um money for nothing just channeling the fact of listening to dire strikes in the car with my kids on the way to town earlier um some brands can be concerned about the implications of giving away money for free and in reality i'm not sure they all realize that the fact is that a good portion of those gift cards are never coming out of the bedside drawer anyway i mean i found two or three for hmv before from i mean i think i was a teenager um because i was looking through my drawer to find a good photo of an example of how many i've got uh, that have expired so Stuart and his golden nuggets uh, share with us that the lower the gift card value, the more likely it is to go unredeemed. I don't think that's a massive surprise, but some of the numbers are interesting. So £5 gift cards, half of them will never see the light of day. Uh, £10 gift cards, 30% of them will go unredeemed. £20 gift cards, one in five, more than one in five, will never uh, be redeemed in a venue. And that continues all the way up to £200 plus gift card, where 11% of them are unredeemed, which is just insane. But we're talking about... Then you want the visit, you want the visit, and obviously Toggle will automatically remind customers if they've registered their card to visit and use their card um, uh, before it expires. Um, and you can set your own expiry on it. And a lot of people with Black Friday, um, they set a shorter expiry on it, or, or they set a shorter period. I think uh, I don't know if the examples in here, but Comfy Pubs last year, their Black Friday offer uh, didn't activate until the second of January, and then it was live until the end of January. But they were very generous with the fifty percent off. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Yeah, I don't, I don't even know. It did make it. There's so many to choose from. I mean, if you want to visit our website and use toggle.com and go onto the blog, there's a whole host of case studies there just to sit down with. Uh, I was going to say a bag of chips, don't know why. Um, and just go through and pick out some stuff to plagiarize or take inspiration from or try on your own brand because uh, you couldn't fit them all in here. Um, digital rules in, in my hat then for a second. I thought that's you why it's uncomfortable. You thought there was an animal in it? No, packaging. <laughs> packaging, not an animal. Um, I mean, that'd be terrifying if you'd send me a hat with an animal in it. That would have been amazing if I could have organized that. Although, yeah. Oh. I'm next listening. year, Toggle Town 4. The raccoon. Yeah. So. <laughs> um, do you want to take this one? Yeah, yeah, sure. Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? Um, yeah. So just talking, in, um, I, I, obviously, it's digital. Um, I, I do what Sam talked about before, actually, and, and reduce down maybe the physical, not have the offer on the physical card, just have it on digital. Um, um, where you have a physical card available anyway as far as your toggle shop is concerned you will see an uptick in sales so there's a certain age of customer that will only buy something that's physical yeah. they want something to give they want something to send through the post they might send it to themselves and black friday at uh, 14 percent of the sales were uh, of a physical uh, uh, card um yeah and and yeah what's what we got else we got here uh but after black friday i know prep everything um six percent of the mix so it's still not so yeah so fine okay um so after black friday we've still got this run up to christmas you can see it there um uh, where where actually physical comes into play uh, and we've also got the on-demand as well that you can include in that um seven percent of cards bought in venue um not so much black friday cards i don't think are actually in venue when they're purchased uh, yeah. Just because it's hard to run a promotion through the tills through EPOS, um, but uh, uh, still actually bringing eyes to the fact that you sell gift cards. Mm -hmm. uh, it's quite nice that anyway about you know letting people know by email that they can buy physical cards in locations is probably yeah. something we should talk about more. Yep, for sure. Um, 
and dwell time is up as well and again this is just something that's almost like a secondary thing to be aware of it's a nice to know i wouldn't say if we were kind of begging you to do uh three things the learns from this one are in there but for those that have got time to do this properly your dwell time's up so people spend twice as long on toggle shop for this time of year so an average of three minutes so make sure your shop's looking good full of information loaded with different types of gifts and experiences and merchandise they might only be there to bag themselves a saving but getting across what you do whilst those people are in browsing mode is a big opportunity so big big big, big. yep oh, massive Tog toggle's always been about hospitality commerce is what we call it from literally from day dot um, and it was about bringing e-commerce as an exp as an opportunity to bricks and mortar at locations uh, in hospitality venues. Uh, so you take your menu items, you package things up, you call them an experience, you do your state night for two, you do your afternoon teas. Uh, Brew House and Kitchen here is a great example of somebody who does it really, really well. Um, and that means that people are browsing. They've got more choice. They can think about more people who to buy for. Yep. It's, uh... And it shows in the stats. Those that have got more complete shops uh, with more options, with more browsing, they sell more over the year. And this is a beauty, isn't it? This is one of Stuart's nuggets uh, that he they popped out a uh, a couple of weeks ago. Um, and um, this is all about the word two. So he yeah. just ran a load of analysis on loads and loads of data uh, from the last year. And basically what we looked at was where the where it had been an experience for two people. Uh, and we saw that that was the most popular experience that people were buying, um, yes. the most popular experience. So, you know, if you've got your afternoon tea or you've got your champagne afternoon tea or you've got your spa getaway, you know, a whole load of different things, your steak experience, whatever it might be, um, then they sell five times better than any other experience. It's, a, yeah. it's, it's bizarre. It's bizarre. I I think people will see it and think I'm buying a present, but also buying a present for me. <laughs> That's what I would do. I'm like, okay, for two, I'm half of two. <laughs> I'm going for this afternoon tea. Uh, and uh, as Dan says, we've got Stuart who provides insights like this, where he's showing that 60% of all experiences sold in 2022 were in November and December, which stays consistent with the whole message of toggle time, which is that 6% of all gifting happens in these final two months of the year. The best selling experience types in December were those that were for two, as, as Dan mentioned. So 40% of all experience sales were mentioning the word for two. That's insane. Because it, just think about the wording that can be chosen across all experiences, across all 450 plus togglers, 40% of them had the words for two in it. It's not some sort of anomaly in the statistics it's, or a close run thing. Use it. You know, you are you're stacking the cards in your favour. I think uh, the afternoon tea will be overtaken by the bottomless brunch this year. Mm. I think we'll be doing, um, yeah, they'll be doing bottomless brunches for two um, uh, and they will be overtaking our afternoon teas. Yeah, yeah. Okay, sure, a bet. Oof. 50 sure. pound total gift card for anyone. Uh, what, what, how many? 50 pound total 50 gift pounds. Card. Wow. You were about to say a much bigger number, aren't you? No, I wasn't much smaller number. Yes, but we'll have a bet, yeah. Great. There we go. Um, the second best selling with afternoon teas, or maybe third best selling this year, let's see, could bottomless brunches. And there's in a nice graph, graph form, just to demonstrate how the total experience sales stack up by month. November it dwarfs every other month, apart from December, which then blows it out of the water. And here, look at this hopeless romantic statistic from Stuart. 75% of all experience sales on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day mentioned for two in the product name last minute gifting so it almost doubles in popularity on those two days yeah and that's an average pricing down at the bottom for those gifts yeah and obviously it, sh it throws the spend head up there 89 pounds the spend head uh, uh sorry the spend of the gift card on that um uh that slide so 89 pounds it's uh it's yeah a it's a really good point actually versus yeah. the 60 pound average transaction value from a visit to the shop absolutely so, um and then finally who and where so 75 percent of people viewed uh, on the web shop did Short to read my own sentence. Seventy-five percent of people were looking at the web shops via mobile. Uh, Twenty percent on a desktop. The remainder, uh, tablets and other assorted devices, Wi-Fi enabled toasters or whatever's out there now. Um, 
However, desktop performance a little bit better with longer view time, higher conversion rate, higher average spend, but not massive. So 71% average spend versus uh, £62 on mobile. Uh, around 6% of purchases were female, 4% male. And additionally, it seems that gift cards are a broad age range of appeal, which is no surprise. Everyone likes hospitality, which is essentially yeah. what we're gifting. Uh, but top in the charts were 26 to 35 year olds. Um, just in case you want to take this on board or have a look at your own toggle account from last year and take those learns out. You know, speak to our team, you know, sure how to get that. Great. So the final section. This is going incredibly well for a first attempt with no prep. I think I I've only fluffed one. I don't think you fluffed it all. I think you've been brilliant. Uh, so it's toggle time three. I was tempted to write snow with the money underneath it, but we're going to say that a lot over the next two months. So just again, let's turn this learning into earning. Wow. I found a quote. I found a quote that I like. I did re read this about four times in the ah! three minutes. Uh, before I don't even know who Bob Hope is. He seems to be. Who is Bob Hope? Christmas I guy, isn't he? Is he? I don't know. He seems to I was going to say him. jockey, but that's somebody else, I think. Well, Bob Hope, I'm not sure who he is. I'm, I was going to Google on the other screen then, but. He said, when we recall Christmas past, we usually find the simplest things give off the greatest amount of money. And who are we to disagree with Bob? So with that, we're going to go through a handful here of takeaway actions. And this is it. If you fast forwarded this entire presentation, which we won't blame you if you did, this is what they want you to take away. These next couple of slides, which are how do we turn the fact that you've got toggle You've got this information from previous Christmases. You can see what the rest of hospitality have done with the platform. How do you take that to then make decisions on how to use your time now between now and Christmas Day or January? Um, and so, uh, well, well, we'll do the one at a time. I'll do this one because I am personified this slide. Yep. Absolutely. And I'm going to let Dan drive most of the rest because, again, it is your, it's your area of expertise. But uh, the first one is a Christmas kiss, which stands for keep it simple, stupid. Um, and above anything else, just focus on getting the basics right of your shop. Like literally just sit down and go through this list. So bring up your web shop. Is your shop easy on the eye? When people are there, will they feel like they've got a relationship with your brand? They can trust your brand. Is it consistent with your website and with your social media? Do they feel like it's a continuation of your brand? You see some terrible examples of where people's have this really quite startling departure from their brand onto an online e-commerce or gift card shop. And it's quite jarring, especially when you're doing something as kind of warm and familiar and relationship -y as Christmas or Black Friday or this time of year. So is your shop easy on the eye? Is your gift card link prominent in your website header? So look at the, the botanist here on the right part of New World Trading Company. Um, you know, they've got five headlines at the top of their website. Uh, and the fourth one, uh, right slap bang in the middle is gift cards. And next to that on the right side is Christmas. You know, they realize the opportunity, which is why they do so well with their gifting each year. Um, but also your social banners, you know, your email footers, everywhere that you've got a repeated message going out, uh, perhaps you wouldn't have uh, gift cards in your social banners or in your social right at the top in the main link all year round. We understand that. But that's why social is flexible and that's why it's always changing November and December. Get your Black Friday offer on your socials. Get your Christmas offers uh, on your social banners and then present and promote these offers via email and social posts over and over and over again. You know, it's no secret that the brands that we see do the best have a focused attack on Black Friday and Christmas gifting pushes via email, via text message, via social media, over and over again. Uh, if you're using one of our payment gateways such as Stripe that enabled you to do so, activate Apple Pay and Google Pay. It's not going to make your conversion worse. You know, you'll have uh, less abandoned baskets, you'll have a higher conversion rate on your shop. And it's all about stealing percentages here. Do everything you can to make it easier and more obvious for your customers to spend money with your brand. Get that promised future visit, get that increased revenue in your bank now. Yeah. You know, it's really simple to do. Just uh, make sure you do these little things well. And then get multiple products live. So not just a gift card. There's so many brands still that go live on Toggle and they just have a gift card in the web shop. And that's great. And we love them for it. And they still do great in the run up to Christmas. But it's night and day between those brands and the ones who take a little bit more time to put on a mixture of uh, merchandise that they'll fulfill themselves or invite people into the venue to collect. Or they'll sell experiences or bundles or kits or masterclasses or 
you know, a steak night for two or bottomless brunch or all these things or different types of gift cards, you know, a digital gift card or a Black Friday gift card or a festive gift card, you know, it makes a massive difference. Um, so you can sit there and run through those and just make sure you're doing the basics. Are there any obvious ones that I've missed in my simplicity, Dan? Not, not really. I mean, you can set up automations at this time on your email uh, as part of your welcome journey, um, which is, you know, pushing your gift cards. You know, it's not a bad journey to have active all year round, really, uh, sending people off to your shop. Uh, and sit down and have a look at your menus and just strategize really quickly as to what you can pull together on your menus to create uh, good experiences. It might be a bottle of Malbec and a steak. You know, it could be, it, it can be anything really. It's just packaging things up and making them uh, more attractive to consumers. Just, just that's all it is. They've got a wedge of money. They want to spend it on gifts. Um, uh, and you're trying to win a bit of that off Amazon or off the high street or off, you know, whoever else. Yeah. 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 So true. Uh, oh, yeah. And here's an example. Give it some gusto. This is the gusto website. Clicking out from their main website. The third option right at the top there takes them through to another page branded the same as their own website. And it's showing you the different uh, experiences. They've got carousels on there. There's yep. plenty of options. It's really nice. And that carousel thing's really important. You've got to think about how you're selling yourself to your customer. You know, so having using the carousel, I think you can have up to five different images on there, having a nice description on it. Um, you know, the artwork here is really good. The photography is really good. It doesn't have to be amazing. Don't get yourselves hung up on that. You know, uh, you can take a great picture nowadays with a phone uh, and actually just put a nice bit of design to it. Uh, and, and, and the platform will do a lot of the work for you here uh, as far as making it, it look good as yeah. well. Yeah, big shout out to our design and dev team for making it as seamless as it is. And, and is uh, personalizable? No. Yeah. Be... Yeah? Fine. yeah. I spent a good hour of the whatever number of hours I spent making this deck just trying to think of funny headlines that made me chuckle, like give it some gusto. And I don't think they're going to be appreciated in the final version. So I appreciate them, Sam. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so Black Friday, um, yeah, as, as we've said already, I mean, a lot of people don't like it. A lot of consumers don't like it. A lot of consumers do like it. Um, it's an opportunity to drive. It really sort of kicks off that Christmas spending, uh, um, um, to Sam's point, with gusto. Um, uh, and it also works for Boxing Day sales. Now, I've got a little bit of bit my, be in my bonnet about Boxing Day because I don't think we do enough about Boxing Day sales. Um, I think Black Friday's sort of overtaken it. Um, and cannibalize the Boxing Day sale, and obviously the death of the high street a little bit. Very glum of me. I mean, probably why I got the black hat. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> black hat of Christmas death. Um, uh, so the, the high street side of things, it used to be, um, it used to be obviously people would queue up outside stores, uh, but, but leveraging your email database, maybe rerunning something on, box, on Boxing Day uh, to try and win some of that Christmas spend that people have been given. Uh, that they then, you know, want to then go and, you know, buy some experiences with. Um, so, yeah, don't let Black Friday pass you by. Um, yeah, do an added value campaign if discounting's a no-go. Okay, that's a really straightforward, it's really straightforward, quite easy thing to do. It's just to add value rather than giving it, uh, giving it away. It's not the field of dreams, this. Um, so you need to shout about it. Emails, socials, in-venue, influencers, banners, blimps. Brilliant. Um, uh, you, you're up against loads of other brands, not just hospitality brands, but loads of retail brands, uh, e-commerce brands. Um, every single brand seemed to be able to latch themselves onto Black Friday uh, and run some act uh, activity. Um, so uh, make sure that you're shouting about it. Shout about it in advance. It's all weekend. It stretches into Cyber Monday, remember. Um, uh, generally starts on the on the on the Friday uh, through the weekend into Monday, uh, and some people start it a little bit earlier and give away a bit of value to their best customers first. Um, and thinking about the cannibalizing Christmas, I think we've talked about it enough. Uh, yep. You can set up digital only, so you're not getting rid of all of your physical card stock, um, or you can set up an on demand, as we've talked about there as well. Yep. Um, you can change the uh, availability of these cards, so the cards can come into force. 
uh, in a week's time, in a month's time, at the start of January, uh, they can be for a shorter period. Uh, make sure that you advertise really, really clearly, though, if you are doing a shorter period and if the card doesn't become valid until the 1st or 2nd of January, uh, so you're not bastardizing any Christmas sales. Uh, um, so the consumer is absolutely, you know, they're nailed down. They know what they're getting. Um, and you could put it uh, against, you know, Toggle's really, really clever. Um, you can put your discounts against a single product. You can do it against all products. You can do different ones and different levels of ones. You can do hidden uh, um, uh, Black Friday offers as well um, as um, as the ones that are public. So if you do want to actually, you've actually got that around your ears now. <laughs> Uh, yeah, if you actually want to do something which is a hidden offer uh, that you send to your best customers, maybe you send it out to all of your staff and you say to your staff, hey, we've got a little something special for you here. Here's a 50% off. There's only a thousand of them available. Uh, once they've gone, they've gone uh, and they've got a 60 day validity period. Why don't you let your friends and family know uh, and do something like that as well. So there's loads of different things you can do um, around Black Friday and Boxing Day and Cyber Monday in the run up and everything else, the platform um, will control the availability, will control how many customers can add them to their baskets and everything else. It's all all good. Yeah, and uh, yeah, you mentioned that, that limited availability on the drive the urgency always seems to just work a treat. Every year we do it, we see people doing it, you know, a thousand only, counts down 999, 998. It, we, yeah, we, it's no secret, it works well. It works well when you're buying uh, a plane ticket and a seat or something on Amazon, you know, it works well here. Um, and uh, gift card again. This is. I think you said it. It's it's in the deck. It's in the yeah. deck. Yeah, it's in the deck. So we, we won't dwell on this, but just a visual representation down there in the bottom left. That's the days running up to uh, end of the year, uh, and the blue is when a purchase is happening through no promotion being applied. Uh, so it's just a full price gift card experience. Red is when there's been a uh, gift card uh, promotion or an experience promotion uh, applied. So 83% of all value sold on Black Friday was part of some sort of campaign or promotion. It doesn't get clearer than that. You know, and if you are doing it, it doesn't start on the day, as you can see there. It starts the Monday of the week and it runs until about a week later. And then you can do some more of it later and you do some at the start of the uh, uh, Boxing Day or January win back campaigns. But around Black Friday, there's just so much money available. Do not let it pass you by. Yeah. Good. This is the bonus tip that I saw today as well while looking through that just thought it deserved its own slide because it made me giggle, which is set up a specific product. And on Toggle, when we say product, it just means one of those, um, you know, it's your own box on the Toggle shop when you land on there. So set up a different product for each festive event. So branding a gift card as a Black Friday gift card will boost your gifting sales even without a discount. We don't know why that works. I mean, you might have your own idea, Dan, but the fact is it doesn't really matter why it works, it just works. Full price gift cards, call Black Friday gift cards, you'll sell more of them. Marketing and consumers. <laughs> it turns out marketing works. <laughs> um, and Dan mentioned on-demand print before, this is an example of one of the A4 versions from last year, I have to find some images of the A5, uh, but you can set this up still. So. At a certain point when you're watching this video up until the end of the year, my statement will no longer be true. And that will be based on how close we are to Christmas and the demand yeah. we get, which will increase. So I'm not going to set a date here. But my advice is if you don't already have a physical option and you'd like to get access to those people who, as Dan mentioned, only choose to gift physically at this time of year, yeah. ring your team, have it added to your account. The guest covers the posting and packaging from our website. And it gives you access to more sales. It's a bit of a no-brainer. Uh, what is it? I don't even know how much it is. It's a couple of hundred quid to set it up, something like that. Nothing done. Nothing. In the grand scheme of things, it costs less than these waistcoats and hats that I bought from China. Great. There you go. Great. Which will be returning. Well, I won't. My kids love this. If I can just find a way to make this bow tie fit, I mean, it's ridiculous. It's because you've oh. lost all your timber, you see. I've still got mine. Mine fits perfectly. Well, I need to eat some more Christmas dinners then. Here we go. Christmas um, Eve, Christmas Eve, Christmas morning. Oh. Save that trip to the petrol station. Um, it's just a great time to get those emails out. Don't send them to everybody on your database. Don't send them to everyone. Send that send them to your your bronze, your silver, your gold, your platinum customers. Um, uh, you know, your most engaged customers. Uh, do it, make sure it's timely, 6 p.m., 7 p.m. on uh, 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 Christmas Eve. Um, uh, maybe 8 a.m. 
uh, before people get in their cars to go and see family, that last minute thing, oh, we didn't get Uncle Jack anything. Um, and they can jump online, they get the email, jump in, they look at the shop, it's a you know, beer, beer tasting experience or a pint and the fish and chips experience. Uh, and they can just top up and, and make sure that they can uh, uh, pop something under the tree. Uh, just make the most of it. Nobody's gonna, nobody's gonna unsubscribe from it. Okay, you know, and subscribe rates don't jump up at Christmas. No, um, no. you know, remain the same. And, and why that image, Dan? Why that image? It's just the one petrol station that I visited so often on a Christmas morning to buy that last-minute gift of a screen watch. Why we started this business in the first place? <laughs> yeah, just to get you out of that problem. <laughs> so yeah, Christmas Eve is the biggest day of the year for hospitality gift purchases. Christmas morning has the highest conversion rate of any day part across the entire year. Crazy. You know, it, the, there's no other figures in this entire deck that should compel you more to act on something. Just get some comms out there on Christmas Eve and Christmas morning, no yeah. matter what you're feeling is about a person. could be talking about Boxing Day. It could also be talking about New Year's Eve. It can be talking about your January sale. It can be doing about anything, uh, you know, but the main image, the main purpose the subject line uh, should be last minute gifting absolutely um and as we've already talked about so we probably won't do any much more toggle is your shop front there's more eyeballs on your toggle shop than any other time of year dwell times at its maximum so that means more opportunity to upsell cross sell build a relationship with your brand so just bring up your toggle shop now does it invite browsing it's a really simple question to ask yourself will give you an idea if you're on the right lines or not uh, are there opportunities to sell multiple products at a time you know if you've just got, if your three options are digital gift card, physical gift card, on-demand gift card, you probably haven't really hit the nail on the head in terms of creating a shop from. What I mean is, could I buy a couple of gift cards for the family? I think from uh, Yard and Coop, last Christmas I bought you the massive cock experience. You did. Which yep. is a wonderful chicken tower burger for one, I believe. Yep. Um, and then I might also buy some merchandise. I could buy some sort of experience later in the year. I could buy myself some discounted money for a January return. You know, I might end up spending over a hundred pounds and I only went there with the intention to spend 40 pounds for Dan's Christmas present. So are you inviting multiple purchases? Are you thinking about the experiences and the gifts for two? Are you cross selling your other services or merchandise and bundles? So Oakman Group here, they might do a gift card uh, for Black Friday, but on there they're promoting their dinner, bed and breakfast for 260 pounds. You know, did you know that your local Oakman even had rooms and you could gift it to someone who comes to visit you often? You think, oh, what? That'd be perfect. And that just bottomless to... brunch there, I think I'm going to win this bet, by the way. Yeah. Okay. Just just go. yeah. Um, and, and we've got collections built into Toggle, so you can do literally like gifts for him, gifts for her. You've got to think about it like an e-commerce business. Honestly, it's uh, it's uh, the more you have, the better the browsing, the more you sell. Absolutely, yeah. It's uh, yeah, it's it's not rocket science. And January bounce. I mean, you're really passionate about these, and I know you've seen them work many times. So I'm going to let you talk through your thoughts on January bounce back campaign. Yeah, I mean, it's it's you know, brands love to reward customers that visit at Christmas. You know, and if you've got uh, whichever CRM you're using, if you have the ability to target customers who visited. Uh, in in the festive period, or booked booked uh, tables with you, or came as part of corporate parties, um, it's just always good to give back. And you know, with Toggle, what you can do is you can issue um, you know thousands, tens of thousands of free vouchers uh, as part of email campaigns uh, that then the customer can come in and use during January. Yeah. Um, and generally, you know, what we see is that if it's just free money, if it's just come in and spend £10, here's £10, you know, it's on us. The only T's and C's are that you have a great time um, and the customer comes in. Um, I think when we did this with, for Turtle Bay, I think it was 92% of customers spent more than £10 uh, on the card. And, you know, you're driving, you're driving footfall uh, in at the quietest time of year. Uh, so, so gifting gift cards make a great mechanic uh, for January bounce back. It's as simple yeah. as that. They do. They, yeah, they do. Um, and and the final takeaway: it's never too late. So whether it's that you haven't done these certain actions, they can be live the day that you make the changes. It's not like getting an update to your website that might be laborious or require several levels of sign up. Log into your Toggle Shop, make the changes, press save. 
it'll take place straight away. If you're not sure what you're doing, get on the phone to one of our team or jump on one of our uh, calls we're having every single Tuesday in the run up to Christmas with Cal and Ash and the total team running it. They'll yep. talk you through best practice and how to do these things in the dashboard. If you're not a customer, uh, just go to utotal.com and click sign up and you can open your total shop today. You can be live tomorrow. You know, if you've got any friends in the sector who have mentioned, ah, oh, shit, I didn't, ah, oh, I managed to get so far without swearing. Um, who say, oh, darn it, I haven't sorted out gifting for this Christmas. You can send them to the website. They can be live tomorrow. It, it really is that simple. Our record is someone signing up to toggle the morning of Black Friday and being live about a couple of hours later. Um, it, it's not uh, it's not laborious or difficult to do. So. A summary. In summary. It's, that's a Halloween summary. What do you mean it's a Halloween summary? It's sparkling. What? Well, the sparklers aren't Christmas, are they? The Halloween. Well, no, November. 5th of November. Remember, remember. Yeah? That's I'm, wearing, I'm sat here wearing a, a bow tie with Christmas trees on it that's too tight and a black, black Santa hat. Now you show me a picture of a sparkler. It's fine. I think we've managed to get all this way through on our first run through, and I've not spotted a single spelling mistake. I can't spell. I couldn't literally on the least person least best person to pick those out. It's good. Let's should we do the summary? Oof, yeah, there's only one million. slide. Oh, is that it? Is that the summary? Is it? It's a great yeah. summary. Twenty-seven million. Uh, I wish I could do the maths in my head actually as to how many visits that is at sixty pound oh. a gift card. Well, one second then. So I think what, it's I think it's about one point two million. Uh, one point seven million. What divided by sixty? Uh, divided by sixty pa sixty pounds, and then uh, like an average spend per head of say twenty seven ninety five times three point three. Uh, so total attributed spend of yeah that sort of number. It's well, big. it sounds like it will drive one point five one point four eight five. So around us one point five million additional visits. Yep, that's it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, times an average of what twenty seven ninety five a head of average spend per head. It's a big, big, big number. Well, here's my takeaway for this that I was thinking. So, like, what do we want to achieve from this toggle time three? Because the last two toggle times have been a lot of fun, and they got the message out there that sixty percent of gift card sales and experience sales happen in November and December. That was the key takeaway from it. And it drove a lot of brands to sign up to toggle, and we're delighted they did. And I'm very, very proud of what we've achieved over these last few years. It's been magic to be part of and the biggest takeaway for this year for me is i want to drive as many of our existing togglers to actually action some of these semi-advanced or advanced uses of the platform yep so even if that's just taking this moment now as i'm speaking to bring up your google calendar or whatever other atrocious calendar you use if it's not google and just book in time with your team as soon as possible to run through uh, your gifting plans for 2023 and, th and this has been an hour sam we've done an hour actually so there's an hour uh, listening and people don't need to be looking at this they can just be listening to our dulcet tones uh, and getting their teams to have, have a have a watch and have a listen yeah um, i think i think for me it's about hospitality brands um making a stand against um uh, e-commerce and other high street retailers uh, to grab a slice of that christmas money and that Christmas spending, uh, because consumers are more likely now to buy a, a hospitality voucher than they were three or four years ago. We've made it, we've normalized it. It's a, I'm very proud. Toggle has normalized hospitality gifting in the UK um, and made it a thing. Uh, well, I'm very proud of that. Um, yes. So I grab a slice, let keep the momentum going. Let's see if we can get more of it. Yeah. More. No, you should. You should. We should be proud. It's a. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. Um, and I think that's it. Uh, yeah. Thank you for getting this far. If you managed to last an hour as a team, as an individual, as my mum probably, who I think devours all of our content very proudly. Thank you, mum. Um, if you've got any questions, uh, there's our uh, success team's contact uh, details. You actually can click on those links. I went above and beyond. Amazing. Is this, this art? is this clip art all your work like there's, uh, not, there's not been one toggle logo in the whole deck it's amazing it's just this just neon <laughs> clip art I, I mean my only I, the only thing i'm sorry about is that they're not like glowing and twinkling a little bit 
and that it had a sparkler in there. But we can talk about a sparkler later. Yeah, well, well there was. I downloaded this theme off a website and it has a slide that you can't delete here at the bottom and it says their name and their contact details. So I put a little black box over it and just wrote a comment about me. Right. Oh, the best thing to do. Yeah, very good. It's very good. good. Well done, Sam. It's great, great bit of work. Thank you, mate. Well, thank you. It was, uh, I think it was well worth it. And I think that people will get a lot of, a lot of value from this. And I cannot believe that we've got through that on the first attempt. I'm so proud of us. Even if no one watches it, that was amazing. So cheers. Merry Christmas, mate. I love you. I love you too, pal. All right. <laughs> right. Go and smash it this year, everyone. Good luck. Get in touch if you need us and make some good choices. See you soon. Bye. How do, okay. how do I stop the recording? <laughs> <laughs>